it's the same thing in this context. Last example, there was an article having to do with Russia, so I started a Russia page because uh, I had some sense that Russia was kind of a big deal in American politics. Got my essential elements, date AP, I now know stands for Associated Press, so I can just write AP now. There's my abbreviation for racial tensions roiling US, target for election meddling. Whenever I have a word that ends in T-I-O-N, I just write T-N and I assume the I-O, labor saving. So I've got my three essential elements, then I dig into the meat. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter took down fake accounts run by, the Rus by Russia's Internet Research Agency, which I decided to abbreviate as IRA. Wrote the abbreviation there so I wouldn't forget. IRA stoked racial division. Note how I used the mathematical symbol to spare myself writing out the word division. In 2016, and again now, also slamming B, which we know is Biden, Trump's director, abbreviation, of national, abbreviation, intelligence, abbreviation. John Ratcliffe no longer briefing Congress on this. That sounded weird to me. I'm like, why, teacher, why? Uh, Trump says nobody has been tougher on Russia. Um, Senator Rubio, Republican of Florida, and Senator Warner, Democrat of Virginia, are on the uh, Senate Intelligence Committee, and they want the in-person briefings to continue. Um, oh, um, I wondered if this statement, this claim Trump made about being tough on Russia was, was true, so I put a question mark there. Um, social, abbreviation, media companies, abbreviation, um, were slow to respond in 2016, but they are more active now against Russian bots. And it, the article ended with a warning to beware of emotional, abbreviation, manipulation, abbreviation, online. So, um, that's how I took some quick and dirty but effective notes um, in, uh, you know, five minutes flat on each of those articles. Um, so, there you go. Bye.